Crown and the Flame, Book 2, Chapter 8 Dom faces figures from his past as his fire training continues. Meanwhile, Zenobia's masquerade ball is more deadly than it first appears. Chapter 8 The Masquerade Ball Now playing as Kenna. Caught just outside of Princess Zenobia's ball by a trio of Navrakis guards, you, Annalise, and Radan are shepherded into an unseen corner of the Grand Hall's main stairwell. We need to take out these guards without attracting any attention. Let's sort this out nice and quietly. No need to upset Her Majesty's guests. Oh, and what about upsetting us? If you two are guests, then why are you lurking up here with a kitchen maid instead of going into the party? Yeah, you'd better explain yourselves. The captain told us to be on the lookout for any suspicious characters trying to sneak in. Friends, there's no need for all this strife. Your hand unconsciously moves to where your weapon no would normally be. Hells, I'll have to distract them somehow. Behind you, isn't that... Princess Zenobia? You dip into a deep curtsy. Princess Zenobia, so lovely to see you, your highness. What? The princess? The three guards spin around in unison, dropping to one knee. For forgive us, your highness. We didn't hear... Wait, there's no one. Radan leaps forward, stabbing a hidden blade beneath, below the rim of one guard's helmet. Cool. Annalise snatches up a nearby candelabrum and clobbers one of the other guards. He crumbles to the ground. Take that, you brute. Just one left for me. I'll take out the guard by... Um, yeah, push him down the stairs. Rushing forward, you shove the third guard with all your might. Actually, that might make a lot of noise. Um, Kenna, no, we must be... Ah! <laughs> the guard tumbles down the stairs, his armor clanging with each impact. Yeah, that would be really loud. Quiet. Party crasher, you caused a commotion taking out the guards. Right, oops. You hear voices wafting up from the ballroom below. Brainless clumsy oaf, is this the kind of guard you trust with our safety, Helene? A thousand apologies for the disturbance, your highness. I'll send someone up to investigate the... I don't care. Just get this thing out of my sight. Quickly, we need to hide these other bodies. You drag the bodies of the guards into a shadowy alcove. Hopefully no one will find them for a while. Now that the grisly work is done, I believe we have a party to attend. Finally, my time to shine. The three of you return to the main staircase and begin your descent into the ballroom. You there, kitchen wench. I think he means me. You two go on ahead. I don't like this. Hush, Kenna knew what she was getting into. Annalise takes Radan's arm. Radan looks back at you one once more, then turns and leads Annalise into the room. Lazing about already, are you? Princess Zenobia will have your head if you don't get about wor your work. What's your task? I'm here to... serve wine. Oh, I happen to be need in s need of some wine. Let me see to that. You take a pitcher of wine in a goblet off a nearby table and pour the soldier a full cup. There, sir. I hope it pleases you. Aye, now get along before you get in trouble with the princess for dawdling. And if anyone asks, you never gave wine to any guards. Sure thing, dude. Plus one prestige. Of course I didn't, sir. Thank you, sir. As you circulate around the room, pouring wine into the glasses of Lyco's nobility, you're able to catch sight of Raydan and Annalie's dancing. Spy score. So far, so good. By the way, are these other spy romance scores ever really tabulated? 
The song ends, and the three of you convene at the side of the room, blending into the crowd. Across the room, you hear a bell chiming. Attention, your attention, please. First, it's such a delight to see so many loyal subjects here tonight to celebrate with me. And now it's the time to unveil tonight's entertainment. Please, gather around the center of the room. This could be our opportunity to approach her. I wonder what she's planning. A fountain of the finest wine? A five-layer cake? How many times must I tell you? Lycos is not Aurelia. It's probably going to be something grisly, isn't it? What? You mean only a four-layer cake? <sighs> four-layer cakes are so good. As you and the rest of the crowd gather at the center of the room, you see a wide, deep pit. It's probably like animal fighting or something. Or maybe human fighting. I don't know. What is this? Yeah, it's people fighting. Dear treasured friends, for our treat tonight, two prisoners will fight to the death before your very eyes. So stand back, unless you don't care about getting a little blood on your gowns. Oh, that's horrible. Now playing as Dom, in defiance of Fire Master Anu, you've climbed the tallest black spine mountain, the air around you growing hotter and hotter. I will prove that I'm ready to find my dragon. I have to if I'm going to help Kenna. At the peak, the rocky path takes you to the lip of a volcano, lava bubbling ominously at the surface. Well, this is fun, and not at all terrifying. Taking a deep breath, you climb over and step into the lava, trying not to focus on the unbearable heat. You close your eyes and enter the spirit world. In the distance, the shadowy figure of Bartel approaches once again. You think because you beat me again it means anything? It didn't bring poor, poor Margaret back. Or your hawk friend, did it? Nothing will. Once again, anger rises in you. I should observe these surroundings. You remain calm and look around, noticing a path to the right you hadn't noticed before. You hadn't seen before. You take it, Bartel disappearing in a cloud of smoke behind you. That is a lot prettier. Is that him disappearing into smoke plus one power? If only the real world worked, like, worked that way. Up ahead, before a dazzling backdrop of twinkling stars, you see Margaret, Tristan, and Rose. I, I can't believe it. Hello, son. It's right good to see you. Dominic? Rose blushes when you look at her. It's been a long time, Dom. Why are Rose and Tristan in the spirit world? They're not dead, are they? Sadly, boy, you can only talk to one of us. There isn't much time till he arrives. He? Who's he? You'll see. Um... I mean, she's dead, so I'll probably never or rarely get to speak to her. So I should probably speak to Margaret, right? I mean, I have things to say to Tristan and Rose, too, but I feel like this is the best opportunity to talk to Margaret. Tell me, have you been eating well, Dom? The last time I saw you... You were killed right in front of me. And you want to know how I've been eating? A mother has her priorities. That's true. Eh, my mom always wants to know how I've been eating. I've been eating fine, mother. Good lad. I'm so proud of you. Not for eating, mind you, but for all that you've accomplished. But I couldn't stop Bartel from... from... Hush now. That was a thing you couldn't do nothing about. Margaret wraps her arms around you in a big hug. She whispers in your ear. Listen to me now, my boy. If you want to defeat him, you need to know that while he seems heartless, 
deep down, he's still you. Huh. Who? That's all I can say. But there is one other spirit you might want to meet with first. Slowly, the spirit world shifts around you, and you're standing in a familiar place. Oh, Gabriel. Hello, lad. Gabriel. But you weren't expecting to see me. Yeah, wasn't. Now, I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to you. What happened to me? What in the three hells are you talking about? I'm here because of what you did. Princess Kenna, your ridiculous proposal at the Beltane Festival last night? Oh, is this stirring your memory? I guess we're in the past when he asked Princess Kenna to marry him. Wait a second, I remember this. But when Kenna and I came back from the festival, Gabriel caught us and... Nothing happens under my nose without me finding, about, finding out about it. Do you think you, of all people, would be allowed to marry someone of royal blood? We never had the chance to find out. Maybe it could have been different. Maybe we could have... Maybe... Suddenly, you're standing in front of Stormholt. You feel someone take you by the hand. Oh, nice dress, Kenna. There you are. Hurry up, or you're going to be late. Kenna, wait. Late for what? Our wedding, silly. Huh. You're coming with you you're coming with me, aren't you? Have you ever wondered if things might have been different for Kenna and Dom? What if they got married? Or what if Dom didn't have fire magic? Or if Kenna wasn't a queen? This is your chance to find out. But only if you have enough diamonds. Because of its importance to Dom's psyche, this or psyche, this path is worth twice as many army score points. Well, thanks a lot. Hmm. You know, I, I just... Apart from the fact that I don't have enough diamonds, I just never thought that they should get together. I mean, there's the rank thing, obviously. And maybe if things were different, it wouldn't matter, but in this world, it does matter. And also, I feel like Kenna and Dom have better prospects for them. Like, Dom could be with Rose or Say. Actually, Say would be interesting. Um, and Kenna can be with Raydan. Mostly because I like Raydan. But she could be with anyone else, too. I'm sure there are a lot of options for her. And I feel like they make a good team. I mean, Kenna and Dom, in a in a, like a partnership way. Like, they could, he could be like her captain of the guard or something. Or something, I don't know. Ambassador to the fire people, whatever. So I'm leaving. You find yourself back where you started once again. I thought you'd want to see us together. I do. You're the reason I'm even here in the first place, but... I get it. You'd rather not indulge in what might have been. Kenna puts her hand on your cheek, holding you tenderly. Her image blurs and shifts, the white gown fading like a distant memory. I'm sorry, Dom, but our time is up. He's here. Who's... who is? Your next test. Remember what you were told. Deep down, he's still you. Goodbye, Dom. You reach out for Kenna, but she slowly fades away. That was kind of sad. A cold wind whips past, and darkness fills the air all around you. Suddenly, a dark figure appears before you. No! Ugh, that's creepy. Yes. Oh, that's the end. That was a short chapter. I guess the wedding scene would have been pretty long. You scuffled with the guards at Princess Zenobia's celebration. The Narakas guards never knew you weren't really a serving maid. S spy, to spy status, agent. You've earned one of two spy points. 
Try to build your spy score over the next two chapters, or replay this chapter. A high spy score will unlock new choices. Okay, so it does matter. Maybe if I didn't push the guard down the steps, I would have gotten the other spy point. Maybe? Yeah, actually, maybe I'm going to replay it. Um... I'm going to have to reread everything. You chose not to attend the wedding with Kenna in the spirit world. Overall progress. Nothing changed. Prestige 18 out of 30. Power 15 out of 18. Weapons 0 out of 15. Allies 15 out of 20. Troops 5 out of 10. Significant choices 30 out of 85. Army score, 83 out of 178. Mm. You know, I really do want to see if I can get that other spy point. So I'm just gonna... Sorry if you can hear the car honking outside. Um. Yeah, why not? I'm just gonna redo it. I'm probably going to do the exact same choices. I'm not going to reread it, I think, except for the parts that are different, if any. So maybe I won't read the first whatever part. Sorry about the car. Um, I'll, I won't read whatever part until the end. Yeah, well, you'll see what I'll do. Okay, restart. Chapter 8, The Masquerade Ball, Take 2. Now playing as Kenna, we're at the ball. I'm just going to kind of narrate. We need to take out the guards. Sort this out quietly. Angry. Blah, blah. No need for strife. Distract them. Princess Zenobia. By the way, I'm sorry about the honking outside. I don't know what's going on, but it's always chaotic at night where I live, but today takes the cake. So I'm going to throw the tapestry over him, and hopefully that will do the trick. Yay, the guard swings blindly in your direction, his shouts muffled by the thick tapestry. Spy score plus one. Awesome. So that is the other spy score. You tackle the guard to the ground, and Annalise finishes him off with another blow from the candelabrum. That's what you get for being rude. Suspicious characters indeed. Annalise looks around to see you and Raydan staring at her. What? Oh, gods, did I mess up my hair? No, it looks great. Sneaking mission. You took out the guards without attracting attention. And I got another prestige point. No, just... Wow. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> now, let's get these bodies out of sight before anyone else comes to join the party. You drag the bodies of the guards into a shadowy alcove. Hopefully no one will find them for a while. Now that the grisly work is done, I believe we have a party to attend. Finally, my time to shine, and I guess this is all the same dialogue from here on out. So, and yeah, you there, kitchen wench. I think he means me, you two go ahead. Don't like this, it's fine. They go lazing about, what's your task? I'm here to serve wine. Don't worry, gotcha. Here you go, buddy. There, sir, I hope it pleases you. Get along. And if anyone asks, you never gave wine to any cards. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Plus one prestige. Circle around, you see them dancing. Yay. Plus one spy score. So I guess spy score for just watching them dance. <sighs> 
attention, delight, center of entertainment, five layered cake, it's not Aurelia, so only a four layered cake, no you get to see basically people killing each other, which is awful. What's this? You get to see prisoners fight to the death. Stand back unless you like blood. Now I'm playing as Dom, you're going to climb the mountain. Lava. This is fun, not scary. Close your eyes. Spirit world. Bartel. Being mean and cruel and I hate you, Bartel. Anger rises in you. Observe the surroundings. Hey, look! Bartel is gone. Poof! Plus one power. See Margaret. Uh, hello, son. Dominic. Only talk to one of us. Sure, talk to someone new. No, I, I, I like my choice. Maybe someday I'll come back and pl replay this. Maybe when I have a lot of money so I can just buy everything. Yeah, that'll never happen. Have you been eating well? I always want to know if you're eating well, even after I'm dead. Proud of you. Hugs you. Deep down, he stole you. Hmm. Shadow Dawn. Yeah, by the way, I don't really get. So Gabriel's mad at you. For asking Kenna to marry him. So I guess it's just really important to Dom as a person, so that's why I popped up here. So here's Kenna in a beautiful wedding dress. And I don't have enough diamonds, so I'm just gonna leave. Back where I started. Mm -hmm. Time's up, he's here. Who is your next test? He stole you. Goodbye, Dom. And then the really creepy Dom. No. Yes. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Progress scuffled with the guards. Never knew you were in a sermon. Spy Master. Awesome. You've earned two of two spy points. Try to build your spy score over the next two chapters. A high sky spy score will unlock new choices. You chose not to attend the wedding, and the same stats, except I might have gained another prestige point, and another army point. So that's chapter 8, I think. And I don't think I can, I have to wait another 3 hours for the next key since I restarted the chapter. But that was worth it, I think. Hopefully.